Hello there lovely people, I'm Chi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For this vlog, I'll be sharing with you guys my labor and delivery experiences this time of pandemic. Hope it can help you in the near future. Weeks before my delivery day, these are such a busy weeks for us. Daming preparations. Lagi kaming umaalis because of the lab test. Need daw kasi na magawa yun, sabi ng aming OB before or kung tawagin as prenatal test. So, prior to birth. So, nandun yung kinukuha na ako ng blood samples, urine samples, minsan vaginal swab. These tests are vital to assure the safety of the baby and the mother, sabi ni doktora. That's why never kami nag-skip. Siyempre, takot din kami. Another required test for me is the swab test. Um, sabi ng OB ko, ang itake ko is yung RT-PCR, which is yung most accurate result daw ng swab test. And while taking this lab test, ganun-ganun na lang talaga. Sobra yung panalangin ko na sana negative ang result ng aking swab test. And the procedure, nakakakiliti siya sa ilong. Promise. And now, ikiget you na namin yung lab results. And if you are looking for clinics na may mga lab tests na kagaya for pregnancy, um, I suggest Medical City Clinic here sa One Felicity. Tapat lang siya ng Evergotesco Mall. Among all the other private hospitals here in QC na napag-inquire namin, nag-range yung RT-PCR nila around 7,000 to 12,000 at that moment. And shocking ang mahal. Luckily, sa Nira General Hospital, nakuha ko lang yung RT-PCR for 3,800 pesos at that time. And nag-take din si husband ng swab test because other private hospital require swab test and rapid test results para dun sa mga magbabantay. And grabe ang saya because we're both negative. Thank God! And for my checkup, we are now headed to Acura Women's Care here at Tandon Sora Quezon City. And I do refer Miss Doctora Ansi. Um, napakagaling na OB at the same time sonologist. Never niya kaming pinabayaan. Kudos and thank you so much po for taking good care of us ni baby. And ayun, um, need ko na raw magtag-tag-tag-tag. So naglakad kami ng mahaba. Akyat dito, akyat doon, sa stairs, and then kinagabihan sa makit siya. Ang sakit talaga as in. And this is it. Around 11pm nung nag-start. Yung crampings and then pasakit ng pasakit, patindi ng patindi. So, kinontak na namin si doktora. Um, sabi niya, pakiramdaman pa namin if unbearable na yung pain and natupad yung mga symptoms na binigay niya sa checklist. Gora na raw kami sa hospital. Ayun, natupad na. May mga discharge ng keme-keme ro lumalabas. So, ignored. And yes, I'm now here lying sa second hospital na pinuntahan namin. Unfortunately, hindi ako natuloy doon sa pinakaunang hospital na pinuntahan namin because at that time daw, 4 a.m. pa yung emergency room nila and I cannot kasi super sakit na niya talaga as in. So we decided to go to the other affiliated hospital of our OB which is yung Pacific Global Medical Center. Ayun, hihingin talaga nila yung result ng swab test mo and yung result ng swab rin nang magbabantay sa'yo. And ayun, ang babait ng staff from guard, nurses, and sa mismong OB namin, wala kami masabi. Sobrang maasikaso silang lahat. And napakababait. Grabe. And this is it. Gusto ko lang i-grab yung opportunity na to para magpasalamat to all the frontliners, especially sa mga medical practitioners. Um, sobrang laki nang naitutulong nyo po sa amin. Maraming maraming salamat. Um, please, mag-ingat po kayo lagi. At God bless po sa inyong lahat. 
By the way, yung background noise na naririnig nyo is yan daw yung heartbeat ni baby. So, naglagay sila ng device sa my channel ko just to know the heartbeat para ma-monitor. So, so far, okay naman daw ang lahat and nothing to worry about. Ang saya kasi allow dito sa hospital na to yung cellphone while nagle-labor ka. So, para is yung tension and hindi ka masyadong ma-bored. Ayun. So, happy. Ayun, appreciate ko talaga yung OB namin. Hindi talaga kami iniwan or pinabayaan. Um, ayun. All throughout. And now, kinontak namin siya ng 11 p.m. And then, kasama na namin siya sa hospital ngayon at 3 a.m. We are so blessed and lucky to have her as our OP. Thank you so much, Dr. Rasi. And grabe, napakabait din ng mga staff and nurses na nag-a-assist sa akin. And ayan nga, nag-request ako ng dim light. Pinagbigyan ako agad. Walang tao, ako lang. And yung aming OP sa labor room. Time check, it's around 4.35 a.m. And ayan, chill lang. It's now 6.27 in the morning. And yes, super king talaga in caring ng aking OB. And sabi niya, mag-take daw muna ako ng light breakfast because this will be a long day for us. And yes, ang estimated niya na pangangala ko is around 12 noon to 2 p.m. So, ayun, para may ilakas daw ako. And bilhin din ang BFF ko, don't skip meal bago mahanap para hindi masyadong super hinanginan. And shout out to my husband, thank you so much for your love and for providing all our needs. Love you. Kita tayo na na baby. Later. And ayan, ang bait ni Nurse Star. Hello, Nurse Star. Thank you sa pag-assist sa akin. Um, ayan, napatulog niya ako eh. <laughs> Sabi niya, i-beam light na lang. Ganyan. Ayan, ang bait na mga nag-assist talaga sa amin doon. Ang, ang laki namin ni baby. So, ayan, medyo tumitin din na yung contractions. Kaya hindi ko alam kung paano ako matutulog to the left, to the right. So, parang walang chance para matulog ka ganyan. Ang hirap. Pero, masaya kasi malapit nang lumabas si baby. And we're so excited to see him. At ayan, ayan yung mga eksena sa labor room. And, ayan, kinabitan na ako ni nurse ng dextrose. At the same time, dyan na rin nila i-inject yung pampahilab na gamot para mag-contract na at lumabas na si baby. And this is it. Super sakit. Nagtatake effect na ata yung pampahilab. As in, feel ko talaga ito na yung labor. Hindi maipaliwanag yung sakit. Basta super duper sakit. Literal nang kahawak ako sa bakal. Um, kasi nangyayinig yung katawan ko. So, yung bakal yung pinangigigilan ko. Pero, hindi naman ako sumisigaw or what. Basta, ayun, parang nag-clench lang yung ipit ko sa sobrang tindi ng sakit. Ito na ata yung pinakamas sakit na naranasan ko buong buhay ko. Grabe. Unexplainable. Pero, grabe, ang tindi talaga. Kaya grabbing this opportunity, thank you so much po sa lahat ng mga nanay. Saludo kami sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagtitiis nyo para sa amin and sa lahat-lahat ng sacrifices nyo. Sa nanay ko, nay, salamat sa pagmamahal mo sa amin, sa pagtitiis mo para sa amin. We love you. And ayun, from time to time, chinachak ako ng OB ko and ng aking personal nurse. Thank you so much po sa inyo. And stable daw yung heartbeat ni baby. And okay na okay. Um, ayun, mga ilang IE para i-check ni doktora kung okay na ba yung cervix. Ganyan, mga ganong proseso. And, 
every time na yai inyao talaga magsusorry siya kasi sa totoo lang super sakit bukod pa yun sa pandang tractions and ayun thank you so much what a relief din kasi darating na yung anesthesiologist ng 12 noon para i-inject sa akin yung epidural ay and yes, finally, na-inject na sa akin yung epidural. Um, di ko na na-capture yung mismo eksena. Pero nung in-inject siya sa spine ko, um, parang may gumapang na malamig sa ugat ko or sa binti ko. And then, boom, instant na wala na siya ng pakiramdam. Namanhid na yung buong katawan ko kahit ipinch ko siya or galaw-galawin yung binti ko parang hindi ko talaga siya maramdaman. Based kay Doc, um, sa anesthesiologist, um, that will last for just 2 hours yung pamamanhid na effect ng no epidural. So just in case mawala raw yung pamamanhid, um, mingi lang daw ako ng shot. So, nung hindi ko na kaya, mga around 3.30, nag-ask ulit ako ng shot kay Do. Kasi super sakit na naman. As in, halos mamilipit ako sa pag-delabor. And, binigyan niya ako ulit ng another shot. So, hindi pa rin naman labas si baby. Continuous yung IE ng aking OB. And then, at the same time, siya na rin nagpaalam siya sa akin na putukin niya na yung panubigan ko. And grabe, akala ko small amount lang yung panubigan. So, yun pala yung tinatawag na water break. Parang, iwan ko ba, parang pakiramdam ko yung naputok sa akin as parang dalawang litro. Ganun pala yun. So, ayun. First time mom, be like. And ayun, sabi ni Doc, uh, magsashot daw ulit siya ng epidural once na nasa emergency room na kami. But this time, it's not full. Mga around 80% lang para meron pa rin ako maramdaman na pain. Para yung urge ng pag-iri kay baby. And around 6 p.m., dinala na ako sa emergency room. And ayun, another epidural. And as in, kahit anong push ko, mga siguro, tinray ko mga 10 times push. As in, walang bumababa. Hindi talaga bumababa si baby. Luckily, ang daming nurses, apat na nurses yung tumulong, nagtulong-tulong para daganan yung chan ko ng mga braso nila. As in, para lang bumaba si baby. Unfortunately, na cord coil pala si baby kaya hindi bumababa. Pero thank God, mabilis ang reflexes ni Dr. Rasi. That's why ang ginawa niya is vinacuum niya agad. Kala ko talaga may emergency CS ako. Pero as in, salamat. Mahirap yung proseso. Lumobo yung ulo ni baby. Parang nag-elongate because of the vacuum. Pero he is indeed a fighter and super healthy. Nag-unga siya agad. And sabi ng pedya, eh, talagang survivor tong baby na to. And praises be to our almighty God. Hello there! And to my pimple! Hey, pimple! We made it! <laughs> and we're so blessed. I'm now a mom and now he's a dad. Hello there, our little one. Ang tagal mong dumating sa buhay na Three years in the making. And we're so blessed and thankful for this blessing. Thank God for everything.
Finally, at last, we're now going home and her families are so excited. And yes, my body has changed, but it doesn't really matter. I'm still grateful and thankful. And shout out to all the mothers out there. You are precious. You or we are able to bear the happiness, the bunch of joy of our family. And it's beyond measurable standards of anyone. Our sacrifices is worth the prize and we are just so blessed. Thanks to our almighty God for bestowing such a very wonderful gift to us, our little treasure one. And if you reach this part of this video, I just want to say thank you so much for staying and tuning in. This is a very special moment of us and we're so happy that you have been part of it and yes please keep safe and hope you like this video kindly subscribe to our channel and we really appreciate it and yes we'll catch you on our next one bye